Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Bono Bazos, well, uh, yeah. One, two, three, Storm Herald. Get him back. Oh uh, yeah, let's let's go all the way. Let's have some fun. Uh so on you. On you. Uh yeah. Everything on Storm Herald. And then tap it. <laughs> How would you like 43 damage about it? <laughs> That is not a bad turn four. That is not a bad turn four. <laughs> Ooh, when it works, it really works. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So this week, we're kicking off our exploration of Ikoria and Pioneer with this ridiculous Colossification Storm Herald combo deck, maybe looking to deal 20, even 40 damage or more to our opponent's face as early as turn 3 with Storm Herald reanimating Colossification of Burning Anger. So let's talk about this ridiculous pile jump into the game see how it actually works so the plan of this deck is pretty simple we are looking to play storm herald to reanimate our auras for free and the auras we're trying to reanimate are a specific combination first off classification gives a creature plus 20 plus 20 the downside is it taps the creature so we can't just play storm herald put a classification on it swing for 23 and win we need one more piece to the puzzle and the sweet thing about doing this combo in pioneer is we have an aura that is actually perfect for the combo so the second combo piece we need aura wise is burning anger so burning anger is just this weird five man enchantment that lets the enchanted creature tap to deal damage equal to its power to a creature or a player so what we are setting up here is getting classification and burning anger in the graveyard then when we storm herald we're gonna get back classification we're gonna get back burning anger yes classification will put a trigger on the stack that'll force us to tap our storm herald but we have a window in between because Storm Herald has haste where we can just tap it right away in 23 our opponent's face at a minimum. We could even have multiple classifications and deal even more damage. So that's the main goal of the deck. Of course, for this to work, we need to get our enchantments in the graveyard. We have Cathartic Reunion, Jace Friends, Prodigy to loot stuff away and then breaking entering just mills eight cards or if we get up to the expensive entering half, it can reanimate a creature. So this is actually our backup plan for Storm Herald. If we happen to have it done, or we loot it away or mill it with breaking, we can always use entering to reanimate it, then go through the same combo. Getting back classification, getting back burning anger, 20 plusing our opponent right to the face with direct damage. Oxymagonus, nice backup plan, gives us a cheap threat from the graveyard. Also, another way to keep looting through our deck. Otherwise, typical pioneer interaction stuff Fatal Push, a braid for removal, Thossies to pick apart our opponent's hand, Mana Base, Ibnu Rivlet, a little bit more self mill. Otherwise, a bunch of dual lands, Fable Passage, some basic lands in the side. Sideboard. We have a semi-transformational sideboard because our main plan with Storm Herald Classification Burning Anger, that is extremely reliant on the graveyard. So if our opponent's bringing in a Rest in Peace, Ley Line of the Void, all that kind of stuff, that's a really big problem for our primary plan. So if you're expecting those hate cards, we can actually sideboard out the whole combo or most of the combo and bring in a bunch of Planeswalkers and play like a weird grixis -y Planeswalker deck to get around graveyard hate after sideboarding. Otherwise, Kalidus, another part of our transformation plan, Plan and just really good against aggro, lifelinking, shutting down the ground, noxious grass for removal, damping sphere for combo, mystical dispute for control, and that is the ridiculousness of Colossal Storm Herald for Pioneer. And that's our Much of Brew deck for this week. So let's jump into the gameplay, see how it works. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed today's deck, make sure to purchase it from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. For a limited time, you can get a Scoop Soldier sticker for free if you mention Scoop Soldier in your order notes during checkout. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are Storm Heralding in, in Pioneer. Looking to Wombo Combo. Do we keep this hand? This hand's okay at keeping us alive, but it doesn't... It isn't especially close to comboing. I think I think we keep it. I think it's fine. We have the Storm Herald. We can draw into Cathartic Reunions or Jaces, ways to loot through our deck. Unlikely to get a turn three kill, but hopefully with removal and thought seizes and such, hopefully we don't need a turn three kill. Well, Fable Passage, go. See what our opponent is up to. Ooh, all right. Team or Triome. Oh no, we have the ugly, oh. I thought I updated the lands, but I didn't update the swamp. 
Ooh, cathartic reunion. Eh, let's let's wait on that in Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is our opponent. Champion of Wits, Bone Crusher, Kozilex return. Mm, yeah, let's just take Champion of Wits. Steam Vents tapped. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can potentially cathartic reunion away some removal spells. Or maybe a land if we draw a land. We just want to tr start churning through our deck to find combo pieces at some point. Ox would also be good. Ox Bagonis. Uh, Budent. Forest. And passing. Mm, Jace. Unfortunately, Jace just dies. I'll play the Mountain. Let's Cathartic Reunion. Fatal Push a Braid. Draw some cards. Uh, okay, well, there's Colossification. We're, we're making... Making strides, I guess. Mm, all right, opponent stomps our phase. That does mean our opponent will probably have to Kozilek's return our Jace. Ooh, another champion of wits. Okay, okay, okay. Well, opponent's doing things. <laughs> Grazer champion of wits discarded, sure. Mm, fatal push. Well, let's just play Jace. Temple of Malice. Scry. Uh, we do not want more lands. Pass the turn. So we need more cathartic reunions. Probably another Jace, since I expect this one is gonna die here pretty quickly. Uh, boon it. Stomping rounds. Tapped. So I expect our opponent's going to... Going to hit us and then just wrath. Down to 14. Yeah. There's a sweeper. <laughs> All right. Tapped. Pass the turn. No velocity this game. That's what we're lacking. Ugh. Oh, this is looking like the worst deck we've ever played at the moment. We just have not been able to get stuff in the graveyard, so our deck is kind of doing absolutely nothing at the moment. Opponent plays a land. Runs out the Boom Crusher Giant. And passes. Well, let's breaking ourselves. Not the worst draw. Hmm. Is it worth oxing? It probably is. Our hand is not doing much, and we have all the classifications in hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, discard our hand, draw some cards. This does lose us our Storm Herald. Hmm. Well, Temple of Malice, te Scry. Fatal push to the bottom, pass the turn. All right, so now we need we need a Storm Herald. We have our graveyard set up. We need a Storm Herald. Uh, if, so we have two left in our deck. If we don't draw one, we can discard whatever we draw and look for one. I guess now another Breaking and Entering also does it. Breaking and Entering re, re, uh, reanimate Storm Herald. Although, one, two, three. Yeah, we can't cast that off cathartic, after Cathartic Reunion. If our opponent attacks, we will just block with Ox. Ox is fine in the graveyard. We have eight cards, so we can do it again without exiling combo pieces. <laughs> oh, if we ever get to reanimate something, it is going to be big. <laughs> Ooh, two classifications. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Well, sure. We will ox block. Opponent passes. Interesting. Well, we will cathartic reunion. Discard, discard. Blood Crypt, Untapped, Ox. I mean, now now we're turning through our deck at least, so we will find our combo pieces eventually. Ox, discard the land, draw three. All right, opponent kills the Ox, sure. Well, all right, pass the turn. I mean, we will find it eventually. That is just, that is just how math works. We wouldn't mind our opponent tapping out. This Thought Seize might actually be nice. We can Thought Seize... To make sure the coast is clear if we do find Storm Herald. Next turn should be good. I think we have enough cards in the graveyard that we can Thought Seize into Double Ox. Opponent passes. All right, so, well, Thought Seize our opponent. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we'll take Kozilek's return. Graveyard Ox. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard some cards. Draw some new cards. If we hit Storm Herald, we win. We draw Jace. Well, we will play Jace. One, hmm. Blood Crypt tapped. 
Pass the turn. Oh, 22 cards in our deck. I mean, opponent's grazers don't do anything, and Emrakul's a ways away, so our opponent doesn't have a ton going on at the moment. I guess if they find a blue source, they can start... All right, so opponent can get back a champion of Weds, which they probably... They probably just have to do it and hope that we don't hit an answer. Well, all right, Bone Crusher, sure. That's fine. Not sure what our opponent's waiting... Like, this is giving us a ton of time to find a combo piece. Come on, deck. I mean, we're getting to the point where we have, what, four Storm Heralds left in our deck? Out of 22 cards? The odds are getting better and better. Opponent. We know the hand. It doesn't do anything. Well, this was not the aggro turn three kill, but we're getting there. Opponent passes. Storm Herald. <laughs> Land. So we will loot with Jace. Discard. Watery Grave. Play Temple of Malice. Scry. We would like to just close out the game this turn. Thoughtseize to the bottom. Well, all right. More Oxen. One. Let's see. So one, two, three... Four, five, six. Ooh, hmm. This is harder than I thought. I guess we have to exile the ox. All right, ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get classification, burning anger. Yeah, that's fine. Draw some cards. Discard the island. Oh, okay. Well, this is getting worse and worse. Getting with the ox. <laughs> oh, okay, this is unfortunate. Take up on Bone Crusher past the turn. Okay, well, ox plan, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's it. Pwn it. Steam vents. Untapped. Gets back champion of wits, gonna draw and discard. Yeah, this isn't this isn't good. Like if we just keep drawing nothing, that that is the way that we lose this game if we just draw nothing for infinity. Oh, three lands off the ox, but it passes. Well, alright, cathartic reunion. Discard a couple lands. Draw some cards. Jace for cathartic reunion. Discard a couple lands. We're going through our entire deck. Okay. Huh! Huh! All right. It took a while, but we got there. Star Barrel. There they are. Star Barrel comes down. And that's game. Woo! Woo! All right. That was a lot scarier than we thought because our Star Barrels were at the bottom. So Star Barrel triggers. We get Colossification and Burning Anger. We put them both on Storm Herald. And then with the trigger on the stack, tap it. 23, you! Cabo! All right, we got there. <laughs> well, I did not think this was a draw your entire deck and win on turn 10 deck, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I wonder what, huh? I wonder what graveyard hate our opponent has. Teamer is not the best graveyard hate colors. Maybe we can mostly stick with our combo plan. I think we can tune up the removal. Like, go down fatal pushes for. Ashiox and a Chandra, and maybe we just keep it like that. All right, yeah, run it like that. If our opponent has graveyard hate, then we can always uh, change it up for game three. Well, that's the combo. That was not the turn three nut draw, but it was still a win. All right, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. I mean, we get Thoughtseize into potentially breaking and entering. We have Ox and Jace. No combo pieces, but a pretty resilient hand, I would say. Opponent starts on the breeding pool. Well, all right, Watery Grave, untapped. Clear the way for our Jace, potentially. Thought sees you. Uro, Essence Scatter, Champion. Uh, well, we'll take Essence Scatter. Uro is certainly annoying, but this means Jace can survive, which is, well, theoretically. Steam vents, tapped, opponent, passing. Well, there's classification. That is a start. So we will play Jays. Pass the turn. So opponent, I expect, is going to... I expect they're just going to Uro here. Mountain. And, okay, there's the Uro. Sure. I mean, we're making headway. We are certainly making headway. Breeding pool, tapped, yup. 
Opponent passes. Ooh, Storm Herald. That's an interesting draw. Do we... I don't think we want to flip Jace yet. I think we want to loot with Jace. Discard Colossification. Breaking ourselves. Mill some cards. I mean, we need the Burning Anger. That's the main piece we need. Yeah, there's Burning Angers. Spire Bluff Canal. Pass the turn. Okay. Uh, we're in a really good spot now. We're in an excellent spot. This is what I was imagining the deck doing. So we have the combo set up. We have the Storm Herald in hand. We can even flip Jace for a Thought Seize. Pound it. Cracks Fable Passage. Gets a Forest. Oh, we might be good. We might be good. <laughs> oh, kind of working. Opponent. Champion. Gonna do some looting. Sure. Erling Grazer. Yup. And say, okay. Uh, that looks, that looks pretty gamey to me. Unless our opponent's like slow rolling a Torbon script. Opponent passes. All right. Loot with Jace. Discard. Colossification. Jace. Flashback Thought Seize. To be doubly, triply safe. I don't think there's a Pioneer card that stops this. There's no, like, Force of Negation, but... Uh, opponent's got nothing. Steam Vets untapped. Storm Herald. And... Looks like the combo killed me. Storm Herald triggers. And game? Game number one? And a post scoops it up? They know what's happening. I mean, we had double Colossification and Burning Anger, so... Uh, that's a uh, 40, 43 damage going to the face. <laughs> it's also pretty cute that since Stormhild has three power, it actually wins through an Uro trigger. Even if our opponent's at 23, a single classification. Well, so far, so good for the Stormhild. Hmm. All right. Uh, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are <laughs> classifying. Storm Herald, Colossification in Pioneer. And uh, we get to play first, which is good. We will not complain. Uh, this hand, on the other hand, we will complain. <laughs> or, oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I guess we're keeping this one. I don't want to go further. Um, Spire Bluff, I guess, to the bottom? Okay, well, at least we get to scry a bit. Yeah, Blood Crypt, Untap, Thought sees you. Yassian's not exciting. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's a Lurus burn deck. Well, um... Okay, we'll take Pyromancer. Yeah, this might be tough. We're already at 16, and our hand doesn't do anything. Temple, Scry. <laughs> Thoughtseize. We can't afford another Thoughtseize to take a Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Abunant. <laughs> Yeah, Burn seems like it's probably one of our absolute worst matchups. Uh, opponent. Sacred Foundry. Untapped down to 18. And you're going to pass. Keep burning us. Well, okay. Um, Breaking. Mill a bunch of cards. Temple. Scry. Oh, we didn't even mill anything helpful. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Not looking good. Uh, opponent. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll keep a Storm Herald, I guess. Unfortunately, we didn't mill a classification. Lightning Strike, down to 11. And without a classification in the graveyard... Ugh. Yeah, Storm Herald doesn't really do anything. We can get back Burning Angers for days, but... That's only 3 damage, which isn't even close to being enough. Ponet going to lure us? Well... There's a companion. Wow, this feels really bad, but I think we're going to have to just Storm Herald and kill Lurus. Yeah, well, this is not exciting, but Storm Herald. Get back one Burning Anger on the Storm Herald. And yeah, kill. Kill Lurus. Tab land, go. <laughs> oh... If we had milled a classification, we would have actually just janked our opponent out there. <laughs> but we didn't hit one. That would have been just lethal. But if our opponent has Lurus, they get to recast Pyromancer, and then there's definitely no way we can win. 
Boros charms us down to seven. All right, what can we draw? And skewer, shirt, ox. Yeah, I think I think we gotta wait. Yeah, we gotta wait till next turn. If we shock ourselves, we would have five. We know our opponent still has a wizard's lightning in hand. Opponent passing. Well, uh, let's cathartic reunion. Discard a couple cards. Ox of Agonis. Actually, let's temple scry. I'll keep. Okay. Ox of Agonis. Well, there's actually a tiny bit of hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Get back, Ox. Discard classification drawn to Storm Herald. Do we live is the question. All right, pass the turn. Wizards Lightning to four. Ooh, we know one card in hand is a braid. What's the other one? Wizards Lightning to one. Oh! All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So opponent just draw the Lightning Bolts. And, uh... We actually had our opponent next turn. For how rough that felt as a matchup, we were very close. The problem here is... I think we actually have to go to our Planeswalker plan. Because our opponent's deck, very likely to have Rest in Peace. Oh, actually, will they have Rest in Peace? They do have Luris. Hmm. I mean, they probably have Graveyard Hate, right? Problem is, I'm not sure how effective the... The Planeswalker plan will be against Burn. We definitely want Kalitas. I guess we can bring in Ashiox and and try to bounce Graveyard Hate. Hmm. We do have <sighs> leave in the Thought Seizes. Maybe go down to Braid, a Breaking, a Jace, and an Ox. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This feels tough. Our normal plan of bringing in Planeswalkers, I just don't think that's going to work very well against the Burn deck. Yeah, we get to play first. We did have a really bad hand. I mean, we started off with with basically nothing going on, so... Yeah, it's hard to know what Graveyard Hater our opponent could have. <sighs> Two Thossies of Fatal Push and nothing. We're going to mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> yikes. <laughs> yikes! 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 Well, I guess we're going to five. Oh goodness. Well, uh, bottom, bottom. Oh god. Oh, this has been this has been disastrous. Well, tap land go. Well, let's see if we can draw several lands in a row. Hmm. Maybe we should have just kept the first hand, even though it did not feel good against Burn. Opponent. Kicks things off with one drop. Combat attacks, hits us. <laughs> Ashiok, okay. Well, Thaw sees you, sure. Oh yeah, we're we're super I mean we'll play it out. I don't want to get yelled at, but we're we're super dead. Super a hundred percent. Nothing we can draw that will change how this goes. Opponent gets in, hits us, down to sixteen. Five drop, pass the turn. Well, yeah, we didn't put up a ton of a fight this time. We almost got game one. This time, the magic gods just were not very kind as far as our hand was concerned. Opponent combat gets in, hits us. Boros uh, lightning strikes, okay. So 13, down to nine. Well, at least we're dying quick. Lava rudder, sure. Thoughtseize, yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we didn't really get to play Magic that time. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that feels like a, a really tough matchup for our deck. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are trying to... Ooh, this hand's actually good. Uh, we are trying to Colossify some Pioneer Fools. Uh, Storm Herald, Colossification. Well, Tap Land, and Blood Crypt to the bottom. So with this hand, we basically are just looking for for Storm Herald. 
I guess we're going to need a Burning Anger at some point, but planes for our opponent. And passes. Well, Blood Crypt, untapped. Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard. Whew. All right, there's the Storm Herald. So now we just need to get Classification in the graveyard. This might be one of our fastest kills. We can just start dumping cards with Breaking Entering. Planes for our opponent. And Daxos. Opponent. Passes. Well, let's Temple Scry. Uh, breaking to the bottom. Mill ourselves. Come on. We need some uh, some burning. All right, there's all right, there's burning anger. Pass the turn. Well, now we just need our opponent to tap down. That is the last piece of the puzzle. If our opponent taps down, they're dead. They're super duper ultra dead. Okay, that is that counts as tapping down. Opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this looks like a turn four combo kill. I believe planes. I don't think two white man is going to disrupt us, even if our opponent has a land. Castle Ardenvale. Opponent gets in, hits us. I mean, we are going for it. There's no not going for it here. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Well, uh, yeah. One, two, three. Storm Herald. Get him back. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's let's go all the way. Let's have some fun. Uh, so on you. On you. Uh, yeah. Everything on Storm Herald. And then tap it. <laughs> How would you like 43 damage about it? <laughs> that is not a bad turn four. That is not a bad turn four. <laughs> Whew. When it works, it really works. <laughs> oh, that was, I mean, that is pretty devastating. <laughs> uh, okay. The question is going to be, how much graveyard hate do we have to worry about? The answer is, I have no idea. So, we have Noxious Grasp. That's good. Maybe we go full on... This might be a matchup where we go full on control mode. Like, bring in all the Planeswalkers. Go down... Breaking. Oh, is this correct? Go down Breaking. Go down Colossification. And... Trim Storm Heralds. I think this has got to be it. Oh, at least for at least for game three and see see what graveyard hate they present. I expect they could easily have multiple rest in pieces in their sideboard. That seems like pretty pretty standard stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's try Planeswalker Control version. The downside of this plan is we still have Burning Angers that don't seem that great. Although, getting one on a Kelly Toss would be funny. We can always discard them. Um, all right. Yeah, so that's fine. I assume our opponent's mulliganing for Graveyard 8. So this is, I mean, this is upside of the sideboard plan. Opponent brings in hate. We zig around it, or zag around it, is the idea, at least. Planes for our opponent, and passes. Well, Temple of Malice, Scry. Um, yeah, land's fine. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Anafenza. Uh, play Spire Bluff, and... Yeah, I think we're just gonna chase. I don't think we have to kill Anafenza on sight. Opponent can't combo this turn, regardless. Opponent. Combat. Hits us. Sure. Down to 18. And Exos. Hmm, more Kelly tosses. Now let's just blood crypt. Pass ooh. Hmm. Untapped, I guess. Pass the turn. Yeah, we, we kinda shocked ourselves accidentally there. Put on taps. Knight. Well, let's kill Anafenza. Opponent's gonna get a land, which they really need. They missed a land drop. Sure. Snags of Plains. Oh, all right, and drew a land. Well, opponent's building a board. I guess this could theoretically mean we could get combo killed next turn. Opponent passes. Well, Lou with Jace. Discard Jace. Untap. Hmm. Well, let's play Rivulet. Run out. 
Kalitas. Pass the turn. So opponent would need land Heliod Walking Blister to win this turn. That's a pretty specific set of cards. And Kalitas shuts down the aggro plan. Well, all right, we'll see. Opponent on taps. We haven't seen any graveyard hate yet. What you got, opponent? I mean, this is kind of this is kind of working. But oh, there's a land. Oh man, you better not actually have Heliod Ballista. Karn. Okay, okay, it's a Karn. That's fine. Karn does not just beat us. Tutors. What scary artifact can our opponent get? Tormod's crap. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that is perfectly fine. We sideboarded out the graveyard plan. Opponent. Passing. Well, loot with Jays. Discard. Hmm. What is our plan for this turn? Let's discard Kalitas. Untap. Hmm. Let's. Oh, how do we want to do this? Let's thought seize our opponent. Take Ballista. Loot with Jace. Discard. Swamp. Flip Jace. Tick. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I don't want this Karn to tutor again, really. Take down Jace for Noxious Grasp. Ooh, opponent lets it go. All right. Grasp Daxos. Opponent's really worried about our combo. Oh, this worked out. So we get a zombie. Now we get to attack Karn. And, wow, that went surprisingly well. I'm surprised our opponent had the discipline to, well, <laughs> they're worried about the combo, but our, our sideboarding plate is working. Like, our opponent, if they knew that we didn't have the combo in our deck, they would definitely have cracked that Tormod's Crypt. And Karn would be living, and we wouldn't be getting zombies, and things would be much, much worse. But because our opponent doesn't know that, things are going uh, surprisingly well. Okay, opponent's going to chump and keep the Karn. Yep. Well, play Fabled Passage. Pass the turn. That was a really good turn for us. Opponent untaps. They have Gideon's Intervention. We don't really care about it. Gonna tutor with Karn. All right, what 5 man artifact <laughs> can they get or less? Ooh, Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Eh, that's actually not that great. We lose our two zombies? Um, yep. So we get to keep... We keep Kalitas and Jace. Crack Fable Passage. Take an island. Opponent. Well, sure. So we will just, I think, Ashiok. Play Ashiok. Bounce Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Mm, opponent gets rid of a planes. Well, we get to take down this Karn finally. Hit our opponent. Tick up Jace. Um, yeah, pass the turn. We're going to hold on to the land for Cathartic Reunion. We might just be putting Burning Anger on, on Kalitas. Gideon's Intervention. Sure. That does disrupt the combo. <laughs> Opponent is really fighting our combo, but it doesn't... Our combo doesn't exist. They don't know that, though. Opponent. Sure. Name Storm Herald, which is no longer really in our deck. Well, make a Nightmare. Thought Seize to get rid of Cataclysmic. Wow, Pony is really playing around this combo that is not a thing. Yeah, Cataclysmic down. Steam Vents untapped, and I guess Burning An Anger can still do things. Uh, Burning Anger? Kalitas? <laughs> Fast the turn? <laughs> Ooh, this is not... This is not the plan, but uh, we'll take it. I mean, this is kind of the sideboard plan, but it's working. Pony. Adapts. Funny I got opponent. So Kalitas could tap to deal three. So we can start sniping creatures and getting zombies and then sacking zombies to grow. Ooh. All right. So opponent's going to get rid of our Kalitas. But we will kill Thraven Inspector, get a zombie. I think our opponents, they're probably starting to realize what we did to them with our sideboarding plan. <laughs> opponent passes. Um, so we will... Cathartic Reunion, discard two lands. Draw even more lands. Well, make a nightmare. Temple, scry. Mm, I think we're actually going to keep Burning Anger. I like that it can shoot down Walking Ballistas. Like, that seems like a fairly legitimate plan. 
just to be able to keep our our opponent's combo from working, even just putting on like a random nightmare, deals with a decent chunk of our opponent's deck. Well, yeah, opponent down to 18. Cracks the clue, draws a card. Uh, opponent. Heliod. Sure. And Nykthos. Hmm. I don't think this is going to go the way our opponent was hoping. Well, we untap. Ashiok Heliod. And our opponent has to discard it. Go to combat. Attack. Exile a couple cards. And yeah, I mean, Burning Anger. Maybe Burning Anger is just good. <laughs> Burning Anger a Nightmare. Pass the turn. Still going to hold lands for future Cathartic Reunions. Potent. Adapts. Thraben Inspector. Well, that does let our opponent redraw. Draws a card. <laughs> what a weird way for this game to play out. Idyllic range. Oh, yeah, let's kill that. Bone it. Passing. Ooh, ox. We do like ox. Uh, well, make a nightmare. Blood crypt untapped. <laughs> Play the fairest of the oxen. <laughs> the weird Grixis control plan is kind of working. And then... Cathartic reunion discard discard? <laughs> More Storm Herald, so we can't cast. We'll go to combat. A deck, a deck. Exile some cards. Hit our opponent down to 10. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to need something pretty good. They're going to need, like, a Wrath, I think. Opponent makes a 1-1. One, one. Sure. I mean, we are actually just presenting lethal. Wow, is this this weird control sideboard plan going to take it down? Phone it. Drew something. <laughs> I can't believe how good Burning Anger on random creatures, Ben. <laughs> about it. Yeah, opponent went full on combo protection mode, and we went no combo mode. Ooh. All right, Nykthos. Karn. All right, let's see what they can tutor up. Tutors. Glass Casket. Okay. What is it? Target. I think it's a game then. We shoot down the human. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks like 10 to me. An opponent scoops it up. Who got him? Combo to the game one. Sideboard transformation to game two. All right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Storm Heralding in Pioneer. Colossification Storm Herald. Storm Herald Colossification. Burning Anger, Wombo Combo, and uh, we get to play first, which is good. I feel like we've won a lot of die rolls this league. <laughs> oh, see what our opponent's up to. Ooh, I think we're going to keep this. Ooh, Lurus. Yeah. Ooh, is this burn again? Hmm. Well, I still think we're going to keep this. We need a way to loot, but we have the classification. We have Storm Heralds. Luris frightens me. If it's burn, that's gonna be gonna be a tough matchup, most likely. Well, let's swamp. And thought sees you. Ugly swamp. Can't believe I didn't update that. Alright, opponent. What are you doing? Anything but burn. It's burn. Um <laughs> uh yeah okay well thoughts use <laughs> your pyromancer i guess soul scar mage sure thoughts use take a swift spear play the steam vents well uh, come on cathartic reunion i think that's the card we need the most some way to start filtering through our deck and hitting land drops and whatnot. Opponent, uh, Eidolon. This is bad in a bunch of ways. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to 15. Well, pass the turn. Yes, is not looking, not looking good. Opponent on taps. Yes, yeah, feels like such a tough matchup. Again, Swift Spear, opponent takes two. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in, hits us. Well, Kill Eidolon, I guess. Drop to 11. I mean, I guess the good news is 
we're not gonna we're not doing anything, so our opponent's not gonna know our game plan. So they're probably not gonna bring Gary Fiore to eight. That's a a slight up. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, pass the turn. Yeah, this is tough because now they can lure us and immediately recast Swift Spear, or just draw more Swift Spears. Combat attacks. All right. Um. Well, I guess we abrade. None of this really matters, though, because Luris is going to start recasting all this stuff. Down to nine. There's a land. Um, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to concede. I think it is best that our opponent thinks we're a weird Grixis control deck and does not know about our combos because our best plan for winning in this matchup is to combo off. We can bring in the two Kalidases. And, I mean, that's, that's basically all we got. So two Kalidases in... We'll go down two thought seizes. I guess maybe maybe we go down all the th well. Thought seize does protect our combo. All right, let's try it like that. So yeah, I think with our opponent not knowing that we're a graveyard combo deck, our best way to win is just to surprisingly combo them off. But that is easier said than done against a really fast clock and now a very resilient clock thanks to Lurus. Burn has not been a top tier deck in Pioneer, but it might be on the rise now that uh, Lurus is a thing. At least in our league, it is it is on the rise. Opponent said this is their third league in Pioneer ever, and the second time their opponent has not revealed a, com <laughs> revealed a companion ever. All right, we get to play first. And, huh. Yeah, we can't keep this. It just doesn't do anything. Well, this will keep... We will put, huh, I think we go Jace bottom. Well, all right, we'll see. Temple, scry. Um, yeah, keep Blood Crypt past the turn. We do need another land. Opponent, Inspiring Vantage, Monastery, Swift Spear. Gets in, hits us. Down to 19. Well, Blood Crypt, unfortunately untapped. Cathartic Reunion, discard, discard. Draw some cards. Well, okay. Kalitas is probably our single best card in this matchup, so that is acceptable. We have classification in the graveyard. Still need a uh, still need Burning Anger though to combo and to find a Storm Herald. Ooh, Poonit goes to combat, gets and hits us. Sure, down to sixty. What's the follow up? Battlefield Forge and. My air is idle on. Yeah. Sure. Well, watery grave tapped. Pass the turn. So I think we just kill Eidolon and then untap and play Kalidus and hope that that buys us enough time to find Storm Herald and Burning Anger. Oh, boon it. Combat. It's in. Yeah. So a braid Eidolon. Take two, unfortunately. Down to 13. Sacred Foundry untapped. And Pyromancer. Yeah. Down to 11. Well, play Fabled Passage. Crag Fabled Passage. Take a island. And, well, run out, Kalitas. Ooh, hold down the fort for us, Kalitas. Yeah. Well, pass the turn. <laughs> so if our opponent has two burn spells and can kill it, they probably are still fine. <laughs> they could probably afford to waste two bird spells and just beat us down naturally. Uh, opponent. Can you kill the Kalitas? All right, Wild Sash, Kalitas. Yeah, so it looks like our opponent's going to be able to burn it out. Wizards Lightning, Kalitas. Uh-huh. Well, come on, Storm Herald off the top, maybe. Opponent gets and hits us. Wow. Leaving back the Pyromancer, interesting. Down to eight. Another Swift Spear. Huh. That was strange sequencing, but I don't know if it's going to matter. So we will mill ourselves. Breaking. Steam Vents. Tapped. Ox of Agonis. Well, do we even live one more turn? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, all right. Discard, draw, and pray. Ooh, okay. 
The other bad news is we don't actually have Bernie Ganger in the graveyard. <laughs> we found this door barrel. We got classification. But Bernie Ganger's in hand. So now we need to draw, like, another cathartic reunion. We need to live and draw another cathartic reunion. We, we need a lot of things to go right. Yeah, Spurn matchup, so tough. So, so bad. Bone it. Lightning strikes the ox. Yeah. So, I assume we're dead? Combat. Attacks, attacks. These attacks are so incredibly strange. Okay, to four. Oh, opponent's trying to... I see. Opponent's trying to keep from getting hit by classification. They haven't seen Burning Anger. Well, if we draw a Cathartic Reunion, we win. That's the draw we need. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Well, okay, so we have one last chance. We need to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to get back an ox, and we need to draw another Storm Herald. Oh, this doesn't work. Okay, wait. Okay. We need to, oh, it gets even more convoluted. So we need to... Fatal push something. Now we can get back an ox without discarding or without exiling classification. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to hit Land Storm Herald. We need to hit Land Storm Herald. That's what we need. Come on. Come on. Good running. Give us some good runs. Ox, discard. Uh, nope. All right. Oh, yeah, this matchup's so tough. So, so tough. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, there's a new burn deck in town in Pioneer, apparently, and it is good against our jank. Hmm. All right. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Storm Heralding in Pioneer. Hopefully not playing burn. Ooh, almost. Ugh. I don't think we can keep just three Storm Heralds. <laughs> We're going to mulligan. So opponent is presumably playing something else aggressive. We'll put one Storm Herald to the bottom. All right, all right, all right. Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. So is this another burn deck? Are we just going to play mono burn this entire league, apparently? Well, not burn. Elvish, Mystic. Uh, opponent passes. Oh, it would have been nice to be able to kill that, but we will just... Hmm... Let's play Jace. That's safer. There is some upside to just breaking and hoping we mill right and hoping we draw land, but we need to hit lands. Rootbound Craig for our opponent. Has the removal spell. Oh, boy. Can we draw land? Can we draw land? Come on, magic gods. Give us a land. Opponent. More mana dorks. The heart's desire. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Well, we milled stuff. Uh, opponent. Oh, come on, deck. So, we need red mana for this cathartic reunion. We didn't actually mill any combo pieces. Love Strike Beast returns. Once Obosh comes down next turn, potentially we're in really bad shape. Red mana, please? Oh, dear me. Pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> Nightmare. Nightmare scenario. Oh, and it's the land. So this is 10. Okay, we're just, we're dead. Well, we're getting to see the power of partners. Our deck is sweet, but not starting with a partner seems to be seems to be a deal breaker. Hmm. Yeah, starting with a, a Furnace of Wrath in hand seems a uh, one-sided Furnace of Wrath seems good. And there's a the red mana. Unfortunately, too little too late, and we will scoop it up. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, our opponent didn't get to see much of what our deck's doing, which means we can just run it back. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. So Noxious Grasps, I guess, can come in. Thought Seize doesn't seem super relevant. We'll go down the Thought Seizes. Let's go up the Grasps and the Lilianas. Do we want Kalitas too? Hmm. I think our best way of winning is still to just combo. We can't actually kill Obosh, can we? Chandra doesn't even kill it, huh? Oh, all right. Yep, right like that. How can we get a partner in this deck? Maybe that's the question that we need to be asking. How can we possibly fit a partner in here? 
Uh, all right, so we get to play first. It would be sweet if we got at least one just nut draw. Well, all right, this we will keep. I don't know if it counts as a nut draw, but we do get to kill the mana dorks, which is pretty good against our opponent's archetype. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep the removal spell past the turn. We got all the removal, and we do have a Storm Herald. We're not especially close to comboing with it, but... Bellnet, Forest, and Mana Dork. Well, play the Temple, Scry for a land. Uh, Alright, keep the land. Fatal Push, Elvish Mystic, pass the turn. Uh, opponent, Game Trail, untapped. Mana Dork, and passes. Hmm. Um, I feel like we need to play Jace... Although maybe we should just keep killing mana dorks. All right, let's kill the mana dork. Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. Come on, combo pieces. Boat it. Land and Steel Leaf Champion. Can we draw land? Hmm. Well, let's Cathartic Reunion. Discard Storm Herald Jace. Draw cards. Watery Grave, untapped, and pass the turn. Okay, we're, we're kind of making strides. We're getting there. We're slowly, slowly, slowly getting to where we got to be. So we can kill Steel Leaf Champion. Then we can discard. Unfortunately, we had to discard our Storm Herald, so we need to find another one. But opponent, Cloth, oh, Clothis, ugh. All right, so our opponent has Incidental Graveyard Hate. That's going to make things a lot trickier. Oh, boy. Oh dear, oh dear, opponent, Clothis. And Heart's Desire. Yeah, Clothis can just eat our graveyard combo pieces. Well, um, Cathartic Reunion, discard, discard. Hmm. Breaking. Mill. Steam Vents. Tapped. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. What do you eat? Hopefully not the Storm Herald. Okay, it's classification. This leaves us live to just top decking a land. To reanimate Spellbreaker, okay. Well, we need a land. A land should win us this game. Pony, combat. Come on, deck. Land, land, land. Gets it, hits us. Any untapped land. Down to 60. Untapped land? All right, Steam Vets. Untapped. Entering. Oh, watch our opponent have a shock. Entering. Get back Storm Herald. Storm Herald. Classification, Burning Anger, coming back. Stick them on. Stick them on. Okay. It's possible. And boom. 23. To the face. Oh, we got there. Through the graveyard hate. Oh, all right. It's possible. It's possible that we can beat them. That was good. That was good. Ooh. That cloth is scary. Maybe we should be going full-on control mode and going down combo pieces. Oh, I think we should. So, Kalitas in. Chandra Ashiok in. Thoughtseize in. Breaking out. Classification out. Storm Herald's out. And now we're the janky control deck. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's our best plan. If our opponent had exiled Storm Herald, we almost certainly lose. And now that we see there's Clothis... Our opponent could just keep... It's really hard for us to, until, like, the late game, which we probably wouldn't get to the late game too often against our opponent's deck, but until the late game, it's really hard for us to do multiple things in a turn. Ooh, as far as, like, discarding and then also reanimating. So, forest for our opponent. Mana dork. Yeah. Uh, this hand is fine, but it needs some removal. Uh, Liliana is removal if we can get to it. Well, untap land. Thought sees you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that's that's not great. Well, it takes you leave champion. Yeah, well, we couldn't answer the mana door. The Liliana will answer it eventually, but it might be too little too late. Forest, so opponent gets to play a Spellbreaker. And that is about all our opponent has in hand. Well, I guess they also have Bone Crusher. Yeah, opponent, yeah. Yeah, these mana dork decks, that's what they do. And this is also working towards damage doubling. Oh, they drew a Ronas. Oh, we're, we're in really bad shape. Opponent passes. <laughs> Burning Anger. Uh, Fable Passage go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, boot it. Well, we got a game off of them in pretty spectacular fashion. 
Uh, which is something. <laughs> Opponent. Spellbreaker. Yeah. Well, this is super lethal. Uh, we will take a ugly swamp. Opponent. Spell breaks. Combat hits us for a billion. We draw Chandra. So we can kill Lanawar and die. We cannot kill Lanawar and die. Yeah, no matter what. Ends in death. Hmm. Well, we got to see the good of the deck. And we did some awesome combos. And we got some people with our zigzaggy transformational sideboard plan. We also got to see that uh, burn. Apparently pretty good against us. And the Mana Dork archetype, I think it's just a really high variance uh, high variance matchup. If we can kill the Mana Dorks like we did in game two, we can win. But uh, if we can't kill the Mana Dorks, Obo, uh, Obo, companions are insane. Companions are insane. It's really, it's really frightening how good Obo is in that deck, which already wants to just go one mana, three mana. So there's not much you lose for uh, playing that curve. And uh, yeah, brutal, brutal, brutal. Well, uh, well, for not having a companion and starting with seven cards in hand and being built around classification, a two, three is not bad. 2-3 is not bad. It's not the dream, but we'll take it with Storm Herald. Huh. All right. Well, uh, be back with a wrap-up. So what do we learn this week about Colossal Storm Herald and Pioneer? And overall, we won 2-3 in our matches, although if we dig into the matches, I think it actually kind of describes a lot about the deck. So we played five matches, of course. We went 2-0 and against non-companion decks. We went 0-3 against companion decks. That is a small sample size, so it's not like, yeah, we can never beat a companion deck. The other issue was we played Burn twice, and Burn is just a ridiculously bad matchup for our deck in so many levels. We don't have a way to really interact with that deck. We don't have Life Gain or anything like that. Lightning Bolt can kill Storm Herald and fizzle our combo. They could have Graveyard Hate, so there's a whole bunch of reasons why Burn is a bad matchup, and we played against it twice, so the other way to look at it is we went 2-1 against non-Burn decks, 0-2 against Burn decks, so all this to say, even though our overall record was medium, I feel like the deck is probably a bit better than its record, and my biggest takeaway on this deck, well, okay, let's start with the actual deck itself, so things I liked about this specific build of the deck is Breaking and Entering was really sweet, we did get the reanimation kill, and just like dumping eight cards in our graveyard was huge, with Oxymagonis getting auras in our graveyard, on the other hand, if you really think about this deck, the core combo is Storm Herald, Burning Anger, Classification, those are kind of the 12 cards that make the deck work, and in theory, we can support those cards however we want to. This is kind of like a, I would say, Grixis control shell that's winning with this combo. But we definitely could be like an Is It Spellslinger style deck. Uh, all different style decks can potentially make this work. Even some sort of like pseudo dredge style deck with this combo, a hollow one style shell with this combo. So there's a lot of ways we could potentially make the combo work. And I'm not sure that Grixis control is the optimal shell. So I think my big takeaway is I think the combo itself is really strong. I'm not convinced that in our current companion-fueled, burn-filled metagame that the Grixis Control Shell is the best way to take advantage of it, though. So I think this is a deck where the combo is something I definitely plan on exploring more. But the actual shell itself, I'm sort of like meh on the Grixis Control plan. So if you have some ideas of how to take the Storm Herald Burning Anger classification combo and move it into maybe an even better shell, make sure to let me know in the comments, because I think that part of the deck is really sweet, and turn three kills are really effective effective in the Pioneer format, and Storm Herald, yes, it can die to, like, a Lightning Bolt-style effect, some sort of Wild Slash or something, Fatal Push with Revolt, but it does dodge a reasonable amount of removal. We can time it for when our opponent's timed out, so I feel like the combo is good and has actual potential in the Pioneer format, but I'm definitely curious what other shells could make it work and maybe make it even better. So again, if you got some ideas on how to take the combo and move it into a maybe even better, more fun shell, let me know about that in the comments. Anyway, that's that's been Colossal Storm Barrel. That's been our Bunch of Brew for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.